Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Boone and I am one of the contributors on The 100 Film Review Talk Show. My earliest film memory, it's probably a little bit ironic considering I'm the youngest cast member in The 100, uh, but it's the old Laurel and Hardy black and white films. Um, my dad would put them on when I was like two or three and growing up and I would watch all like the, the wonderful elements of like filmmaking and, and slapstick comedy uh, that appears, especially in episodes, in, in films like uh, uh, Laughing Gravy and, and Tit for Tat and, and uh, Blockheads as well, like in Blockheads where lately <laughs> they drive through the, the garage door or like the, the, the football drops down the, the hotel and hits the clerk in the face and things like that. It's just, it's wonderful pure slapstick that gets a belly laugh from me every time. My first cinema experience was in the year 2000 when I was four. Um, my parents took me to go see uh, The Grinch starring Jim Carrey and they thought it would be wonderful because I really liked the old animated film with the song, you know, you're the mean one, Mr. Grinch, that sort of one. Uh, and as soon as Jim Carrey came on screen as the Grinch, I freaked out and started crying and screaming and I didn't like it. I was like, no, I don't like it, don't like it. And they had to, they had to take me out of the cinema and I kind of, um, kind of spoiled that uh, family evening out there. Uh, sorry. If we're excluding series like Lord of the Rings, the Star Wars, um, my favourite film has got to be, I think it was the 2018 Christmas film, Claws. Uh, which is a story about um, the reason why we send letters to Santa Claus. And he gets our, our Christmas letters. Um, it stars uh, Jason Schwartzman as this um, post officer who has to run the worst post office in the world, uh, which is where Klaus lives, um, who is voiced beautifully by J.K. Simmons, who's got one of the most richest, carameliest, gorgeous voices uh, right now um, and the the film itself is beautifully animated it's the score is heartbreakingly beautiful and uh, by the end you'll have tears in your eyes because it's just a wonderful wonderful film guilty pleasures now i i don't really have a guilty pleasure film specifically because i don't feel guilty about the films i like um, I think everyone's got their own tastes, everyone's got their, their own thing that makes them laugh or cry or feel angry or sad or whatever and I don't really have a guilty pleasure film. Uh, I was going to say uh, I love you man just to wind up Paul it, <laughs> but um, I feel that, uh, that he, he knows that it's a really good film. I mean if I've got to choose a guilty pleasure film let's say Kindergarten Cop because Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to deal with a group of small nursery children is just so amusing to me. I find it wonderful because he's got ferrets as well that he did. Why, why does he bring ferrets into school? Um, I don't know, man. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> Films that everyone loves and I hate. Um, I don't have a specific film, I have more of a genre of films and it's like films like Superbad, films like uh, Pineapple Express, The Hangover Trilogy, anything that's just like a celebration, like not even a celebration, it's just really, it's a thing that's just like, it's an hour and 45 minutes of Seth Rogen telling you that he's getting high and like I get it Seth, you've spent four films already doing this. A really good film I've seen recently has got to be um, We Need to Talk About Kevin. Now, I've seen this film before and I will go back and occasionally watch it because it's this amazing psychological thriller where you jump back and forth between different points in the main character's life. Uh, played perfectly by Tilda Swinton, who I have endless love for. Um, then you've got uh, John C. Riley playing her husband, you get to see her falling in love with him and having a family with him, and then you get to see Ezra Miller being this brooding teenager who there's something just not quite right about. And then of course he's also got cheekbones that can cut glass, which is also a, an added bonus to watch him for. Um, and it's just this wonderful, dark film that kind of leaves you going, Wow. There's two films that I'm really looking forward to seeing. Uh, the first one is The Many Saints of New York, um, which is the prequel to The Sopranos, uh, uh, HBO series that I love. Um, and 
films still rewatched to this day. Um, and the other film is has been out for decades, and it's it's a wonderful life um, because I really want to see it when this whole thing is over, and I can go back to my hometown and see it in the little independent cinema we have there uh, called the Belmont Theatre. Because with the tickets, you get a complimentary glass of hot mulled wine and a mince pie, and I've been threatening for years and years to do that and go see it that way, and I've just never done it. And I think this year. This year's going to be the year I do it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please feel free to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And you can follow us on social media at 100 Film Reviews on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next time.